A massive demonstration on the streets of Toronto this afternoon. Thousands of protesters marching from Christie Pitts all the way to Queen's Park, rallying for justice in support of Regis Korchinski Paquette. The only thing we are demanding is justice and answers. Period. Bottom line. The 29-year-old fell to her death from the 24th floor balcony of her High Park apartment building on Wednesday. Her mother says she called police because her daughter was experiencing a mental health crisis after an epileptic seizure. Through their lawyer, her immediate family told media that at one point Regis entered the apartment alone, followed by multiple officers, while her mother and brother were held back in the hallway. After approximately one to two minutes, the mother and the brother heard commotion in the apartment and then heard Regis cry out, Mom, help. Mom, help. Mom, help. After that, mother and brother heard silence. Her family believes police played a part in Regis's death. Toronto Police Chief Mark Saunders has urged calm until all the facts are revealed. As long as the province's police watchdog continues their investigation, police are not permitted to comment on the case. Not another black life! Not another Saturday's rally was not organized or planned by Regis's immediate family members and was not attended by them. But in a statement, they said they're thankful for the outpouring of support. All I have to say is justice for Regis, black women matter and black lives matter. The rally was peaceful, organized by a group called Not Another Black Life. If you are tired or annoyed of reading all these posts and the news surrounding anti-black racism, guess what? We are tired too. Tired of being a walking target and dying every single day. All over social media, we're talking about we need allies, and it's true. We need people to show up when it actually matters. Don't sit all cozy and comfortable. It's like, this problem isn't just a black problem. This is everyone's problem. The rally in Toronto comes on the heels of several days of unrest in major cities across the U.S., where protests over the police-involved murder of George Floyd have at times turned violent. The organizers of the rally here in Toronto, however, were urging nonviolence. We're here to peacefully protest, but we want justice for Regis. I think for now, like people are going to be remain peaceful um, because we're just trying to get our message across. The massive march coincided with a number of similar rallies held in cities across Canada. In Toronto, Erica Natividad, City News.